Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to the Crew Moto Fest. It's been a very long time since I've last played this. I want to say it's been over a year at this point because I remember playing it on release in September 2023. I think I played it a little bit trying it out on Steam Deck and I think that was about it. So uh, I, apologies ahead of time. I am very not well versed in the happenings of this game since release. But what I have noticed or have heard through the grapevine is that after a year of being out, Ivory Tower said, you know, for its fifth major update, let's release a whole new expansion, a whole new island for free. I don't know, just because. And my oh my. We'll get into that in a moment, but we're playing the first event of the Made in Japan playlist here. For those who know, there was the first version of this playlist, which was fairly well received. And I can probably attest to why that is the case, because I know a lot of us played Forza Horizon and said, you know, it would be just absolutely awesome if they would have something to do with Japan. It's just this beautiful island of so much diversity and car culture. It's just seemingly being not really discussed much as like an environment in modern day racing games. I mean, there are some smaller indie games that are focusing on it, which I do appreciate. But, like, the main AAA title scene just hasn't really touched it. So when Forza Horizon 5 was announced that it was going to be in Mexico, it's like, okay, fine, Mexico, that's great. But I'm getting very concerned that when they announce Forza Horizon 6, they'll be in, like, Africa or something like that. And we, we're clamming. We're telling them, do it in Japan. Do it. And they're just like, nah. It, I, I will never understand why. I will never understand why Japan is not being touched. But this playlist really showcases what we're missing. And it's I understand why everybody is loving this playlist series so much. And I understand why a second version of this playlist was made for this game, because take a look at this. I mean, yes, the colors are extremely overdone, but I just absolutely love the atmosphere. All this extra, well, Japanese, uh, uh, cherry blossoms. I'm pretty sure we just passed a couple of cherry blossoms there. And then we've got, you know, these dragons up here. It's just, Awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And of course, it's focusing on these beautiful Japanese cars as well. And this one here, the one that we're driving, is the Toyota Supra. That is a special edition for completing the first Made in Japan playlist. Again, awesome, awesome stuff. So now we're driving into Maui, the new island that has been added to this game and yes it looks fairly similar to the standard island of oahu but i know once we're done with this race we'll do a little bit of exploring see if we can find some more fun unearthed areas that we haven't seen yet we're not doing so well in this race here oops <laughs> <laughs> there we go, and across the line, second place. Good enough for me. All right, let's take a look at our map here. We'll kind of zoom out here, and we are now in the middle of this first area in the west part of Maui. Of course, we've got a major city here off to the eastern side of the west area, shall I say? North of Central, I don't know. And then we've got this giant mountain known as Upcountry. Another little city down here in south. Another little city down in east. 
and then yes this giant bridge going over these the little islands and then back over to oahu i mean yes it is not the largest map we've seen in racing but this is just really cool what they've done with this layout i really like this but i still love that where you can zoom in and see exactly what's been going on from afar and here we are in the second event i should discuss a little bit more about this update so yes obviously made in japan series 2 playlist 2 has been added there has also been this is kind of the big thing there is the season pass year two where you get 28 cars or something crazy like that and then the ability to go through and play chase squad which i know is gonna be really fun because you look at a game like this it's another festival racer and you don't typically have police or police-esque kind of cars in these festival racers, which I find a little bit counterintuitive. But having Chase Squad being added, another playlist where you play as, again, police cars, but they're not quite police cars. They're a little bit more car culture -y. They're a little bit more modified. They've got a little bit more unique liveries and and designs and i kind of like that i like the creative liberty that every tower had made where it's like yes we can add police cars but like let's just really do something different here so then not only that once you complete both made in japan series 2 and you complete all of the chase squad playlists you're able to get what is known as Rivals. And Rivals is, I want to say there are 21 cars driving around the islands where you just run into and they're kind of like impromptu races. And that's also really fun in my mind. It's just, it reminds me of, oh, we're going back a long way. I remember these impromptu impromptu races being evident in Need for Speed Carbon, so we're talking 18 years ago. I know there are multiple other games that have similar... I th Underground 2 maybe even had them? I'm trying to remember. It's been a really long time. We're talking 20 years for that one. 21 years. So, like, it's... These impromptu races isn't anything new. I believe at some level there was the head-to-head -head series in Forza Horizon. But I enjoy when developers take an idea and then try to make it their own. So furthermore, there are so many additional changes I have to use my phone for because I can't list them all off the top of my head. Uh, you can now swap maxed out legendary parts between Street Tier 1 and 2. You can now craft new fixed parts. And having three of the same legendary set now gives you a half quote unquote bonus. There's also a massive custom mode overhaul where it now has its own tab in the main menu. Jesus Christ, can you leave me alone? <laughs> uh, custom mode now has its own tab in the main menu and there's a total of 1,371 custom events available if you have the playlist unlocked. So, I mean, so many cool things are happening with this game. And I'll even say this. I have slept on this game. I really have. And it's just crazy to see how this game has evolved since launch as a lot of these live service games do. They obviously evolve since launch. But it's... There's so many unique things going on all at the same time that I haven't been paying attention to and I really feel sad about. So, I mean, with this last update, you can really tell that Ivory Tower is 
done a great job of just continue to work on this game. And to be quite on Jesus. <laughs> Ivory Tower honestly could have just put the entire island of Maui behind the year two paid DLC and charged more for it. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have batted an eye because that's just really typical scummy tactics that AAA games have nowadays. But Ivory Tower didn't. And yes, there are some main playlists that you don't get unless if you get that DLC, but that's obvious. But for them to just give out this island for free and still give us things to do on it after a year just means that they're really committed to this game, and I love that. So many of you probably have seen this coming, but my next comment is, of course, about the Steam Deck. You guys know how I just love playing everything on it. And I'm incredibly saddened that we're not able to play this game on it because of the Battle Eye uh, anti-cheat engine. I mean, it's great that we can get it on Steam now, but I don't want to pay another $70 for something that I can't even play on the Steam Deck. So this all being said, once this goes, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but hear me out. Once this game goes on sale on Steam, I would imagine soon-ish during the holiday sale, I'd like to pick it up there. But for me to play it on the Steam Deck, I think I would want to pick it up on the PlayStation Store and do it through remote play. I am constantly playing Gran Turismo 7 on remote play through the Steam Deck, and actually I've picked up one of those uh, phone holders for the PlayStation 5 controller, so I can now do remote play with my phone. And... I just really hate that we have such a great game that I'm not able to play on the Steam Deck. And again, I'm a part of an incredibly niche audience, and I'm aware of that. But I am kind of willing to pay for this game a couple more times if it is going to support Ivory Tower because it seems like they've really hit the nail on the head with this update and just with what they've done throughout this past year. That all being said, again, this last update has been crazy and I want to find a way if I can start playing this game a little bit more regularly because I just am really enjoying myself. I've enjoyed playing Forza Horizon 5 recently as well, so I'm kind of getting that arcade festival racer vibe again. Or kind of that that itch, per se. But the Crew Motorfest does things differently enough that we really, collectively as a community, shouldn't be overlooking this. It's just... There's so many games going on all at the same time right now. It's so hard to focus on all of them. And there's so many companies doing great things out there. And I want to give a massive props to Ivory Tower for what they've done with the Crew Motorfest right now. It's just awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. So that being said, let me know down in the comments section if you guys have been playing this since launch or if you guys have been kind of coming and going. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are of this new expansion, if you're as excited about it as I am, or if you're finding things that you wish they added, or maybe not. So again, let me know all down in the comments section below. Of course, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Take care. Bye!